Beast TV is proudly supported by Cooperators Insurance. Discover the difference we're making in your community. Today on Beast TV, we'll check out what's happening on the trails. Catch up with the Richmond Rovers Poker Run. Meet the Ottawa Police Trails Unit. And check in with our junior president in training for some great groomer facts, these stories, and more as Beast TV starts now. Welcome back to another edition of Beast TV. I'm your host, Karen Hunt. Thanks to all the viewers who took part in this past week in the Richmond Rover Poker Run. We had 73 sleds attend this ride, raising over $1,400 for the club. A special thanks to those volunteers who helped make this successful for everyone. Now let's check in with Andrew, who after a long weekend of trails, is with my dad to find out how the trail status of the club operation update. I'm here with Dave Hunt, president of the Beast. Dave, it was another great weekend of sledding in the Beast trail system, but some bare spots are starting to show up in the trails, and the weather forecast looks poor for the end of the week. February is historically a dry month, but generally we receive good snowfall around the first week of March. What's the uh, official status of the trails? Most trails are still listed as open, and there's still some as limited, although that will probably change given the upcoming weather. But uh, that, what, that which I was out on the weekend is pretty icy and very hard packed, and it's not very good for cooling your sleds. Can you update the viewers on uh, the operations that were happening this past week? Well, it's probably the first week I'm going to be able to say all groomers were out fully operational with no breakdowns. So Congratulations. That, that's awesome this week. Um, I'm happy to report that the Richmond Poker Run was a huge success. So special thanks to all the volunteers that made that happen. I'm also happy to report that we had a VIA grant submission for $500 for some equipment for the show, which is being approved. So we're looking forward to getting some more equipment to help improve the show. And finally, I wanted to talk about Rider Appreciation Day. That's coming up on uh, Family Day weekend, and we're looking for people to come out and enjoy a hot dog and uh, pop or water and enjoy the trails with us and get to meet some of us. Many thanks to Dave and his team of dedicated volunteers for working so hard on our trails. Dave was telling me that there are still some positions to be filled in the club. If you're interested, please visit our website under Volunteers, join us, to find a role that suits you. Have you seen the auto police while riding and wonder why? Andrew recently caught up with an acting sergeant of the Marine Dive and Trails Unit. And after the break, we'll find out the first hand why the police are patrolling the trails. Beast TV, brought to you in part by Almont Chiropractic Center. Look to the spine for the cause and prevention of disease. Carlton Auto Parts, we keep your car young. Carlton Place Marine, what kind of Yamaha are you? Danby's Bar and Grill, part of our community. Snowmobilers welcome. Welcome back. I'm here on location with an officer from the Ottawa Police Marine Dive and Trail Unit. Please introduce yourself to our viewers and explain the role of the police force on the trail. Uh, my name is uh, Sergeant Brent McIntyre. I'm with the Marine Dive and Trail Unit with Ottawa Police. Uh, the role of our unit is to be out on the snowmobile trails, uh, making sure people are adhering to the laws, checking for trail passes, Make sure people have uh, their ownership and insurance, their documentation, that they're uh, riding in accordance to all the laws and uh, the rules of the trails, and to ensure that people are, uh, you know, not are not driving stolen uh, snowmobiles, and uh, that we're preventing, uh, you know, people's property from uh, getting stolen. What's the? Uh, how many officers are there on your uh, trail patrol team? We have uh, eight police officers uh, on the uh, Marine Dive and Trail Unit. Uh, so our responsibilities range from the trail enforcement. We do boating enforcement during the uh, summertime, and we do diving 365 days a year. How often do you patrol? Uh, we have officers out every day. 
Uh, our shifts are scattered. We do a day shift, and we also do a late afternoon and evening shifts. So we're, we're getting officers out as much as possible when people are riding. So uh, that's in the evenings and at night, on weekends, uh, and during all types of weather conditions. So it's pretty frequent that we'd run into you then? For sure. I think, uh, I think the people that ride the trails have seen a, a huge increase since our unit has been stood up. And they see a lot more officers out there. We're trying to get in touch with all the community uh, members, make sure that all the uh, partners and all the trail, um, different clubs, uh, get to see us, introduce ourselves, and make sure people know us, not just as the, the police officer stops them on the trail, but also gets to know us on an individual basis. And that's why we do all these meetings. Are there any important messages you wish to convey to our viewers? For sure. There's. I mean, it's a, very important that uh, the members out there are obeying all the laws. Looking at the uh, speed is a big one. Alcohol is huge. Uh, speed and alcohol combined is a deadly mix. So we want to make sure that people know that, uh, that we want them to partake in alcohol, but after the ride, not during. Well, special thanks to uh, Sergeant McIntyre and his team for patrolling our trails and ensuring they are safe and sustainable in the future. Have you heard about our Rider Appreciation Day? We will be hosting a free hot dog and refreshment Rider Appreciation March between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Saturday, February 18th. The location will be at the intersection of A and E 104A trails. Please come out and meet the volunteers who help build and maintain the trails we love to ride. Now let's check in with our junior president in training for some interesting groomer facts. Hello and welcome to the groomer shop. I would like to take a few minutes to get familiar with our groomers at Beast TV. Within the Grooming Association, we have four groomers which cover a territory over of over 300 kilometers of trail. We have one farm tractor which has been converted to a groomer. My personal favorite is the 180 made by Bombay RDA. Within the Beast, we have three of these units, two made in 2001 and one made in 2004. Similar to my Lego model, both the cab and the rear deck raise easily. A trail groomer is also known as a drake. The model groomer BR-180 means that the groomer contains a pertinent six-cylinder diesel engine which is at turbocharged and after cooled what and puts out 180 horsepower. A BR-160 would be 160 horsepower and a BR-350 would be a dynamic 350 horsepower. I hear that driving my groomer is so much fun, and I'm looking forward to getting my own one out on the trails. That's all the time today we have for Beast TV. Please remember to send your questions, comments, and pictures to Krusty's mailbox. You never know, your submission may just be featured on the next edition of Krusty's Mailbox. I'm your host, Kren Hunt. Till next time, keep your thumb on the throttle and the rubber side down. Special thanks to the following volunteers who helped make this week's episode possible. 